And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary. Doc, oh, they weren't. Getting I don't know. It. You really are. Most here. of them have lasted well, long right. past their projected I'm lifespans. Alan. Alan if you ask me, you can think of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son, keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Yes. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. Take your time. Right. If there's anything else you'd like to know about... Uh -huh. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done. No, this I don't think he's done. Yeah, that's how start out. Coursers give me the creeps, you know? They seem, I don't know, cold. What? I'm not even doing anything. Suspicious. Suspicious? What do you mean by suspicious? I mean, like Dante. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Safety first. 
remember that. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I, I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is gonna work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Are there any other options? That's my offer. Take it or leave it. Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the biosciences division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I... And finally, now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy. Uh -huh. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the... Sure. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust. Speaking of, I trust our discussion...
Dr. Holdren sent the gorilla project showing promising results. Eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the walrus is doing. Young Raleigh must be close to 10 years old right now. Remarkable that your child can survive so long. I. I try not to think too much about it. It's cold. Scanners detecting sensor of light. Alert level elevated. Hostile. 
Yes. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... at least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken, if there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Dr. Lee. Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. I'm afraid it's bad news. Since when do you know what I consider bad news? Just let me hear it. Lied to me. Really they lied to me, and I didn't even crash. realize how far it went. All those years well, of loyalty, almost too good. for nothing. The responses map almost identically to expectations. Some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of no course, matter how badly it hurts, really, you need Sean, to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the I've institute to get away from the Brotherhood, from the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me no, access to cutting-edge we'll technology to that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became well jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. If I were slightly more arrogant, I Maybe might in their own twisted way, they still yeah. do. But now, I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? or what their plans are for my work. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. <laughs> Unknown identity. Seriously, you think that heading over to robotics to knock 
whacked some heads together. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Excuse me, doctor. Please don't. So. There's enough friction as it is are. between us the and pretty much all the other director of the synth retention bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye. Despite your relation, uh -huh. I'm sure you understand. No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser. A third generation Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. Huh? Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'd like to know more about the Synth Reclamation Project. Fine. Once a Courser has located a rogue Synth, it uses that Synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate... In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time. Mm -hmm. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Like any machine, the synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Scanning. Subject identified. Did I turn off the interferometer? Doctor, love to take welcome. Armor apart. So good to have you here. Get a look at the Doctor, inner workings. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. Uh -huh. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the, our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the institute. Right. To that end, uh -huh. we've even started to explore. You probably saw the gorilla. Seems like there's nothing. With hard work and ingenuity, I'm sure I've taken up an. I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but... Great! I was hoping you'd say... In any case. Uh -huh. You mentioned medical care? I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean. He's our top biologist. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. Uh -huh. You won't find better medical care.
surprised to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron serve. sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. Dead. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Prigwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade. And we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. got a new assignment. Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field scribe. Prestigious. Beats guard duty. Why? What'd you get? Vanguard. You're kidding. Shipping out into that. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best... 
Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. As much or blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry in the tarmac. Max and Kellogg have been looking for something that will tip the balance when we go toe to toe with the Institute. Now, Trivlin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. <laughs> I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile. Every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out a CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Attention, this is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. Had enough alliance in this foolish That is all. My duty shift was long. Excuse me, Dr. Lee. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. I can't wait to see Liberty Prime in action.
Doctor. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new lens are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Lancer Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under.
of data regarding the Commonwealth. A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? Time to hit the road. Excellent. I'll endeavor to do my best. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to make sure you hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.